This video is about bleeding time. What is bleeding time? Bleeding time is a test that is used to measure the time for the bleeding. So in this test, the cut is made on the superficial surface of the skin so that the time is noted for the start of the bleeding and when the bleeding stops. So this test is basically used to detect the function of the platelets as platelets are involved in the clotting of the blood so that the blood the bleeding is stopped by the formation of the clot so there are two methods to detect the bleeding time or to de uh, detect the function of the platelets as platelets are involved in the clot formation and they help in to stop the bleeding of the blood so what are these two methods that are used to detect the function of the platelet or are used to detect the bleeding time they are the duke method and iv method there are two different methods and both um, any one of from both of these can be applied or can be used to detect the bleeding time first of all the duke method so for the to perform the duke method or to detect the bleeding time by performing this procedure there are special requirements you need specific things that will be used in the procedure they are the sterile lancet to prick or to make the cut uh, in the uh, in, into the superficial surface of the body you need a filter paper spirit swab and stopwatch so all these things are required to perform the specific procedure of the duke method so in duke method the tip of the finger is cleaned with the spirit swab in order to avoid it from infection then with the help of a sterile lancet a three millimeter deep cut is made on the tip of the finger. As soon as the bleeding starts, the stopwatch is started. Then after the stopwatch is started, at the edge of the filter paper, the bleeding area is wiped, like not on the top of the bleeding, but only the edge of the uh, bleeding point are just wiped on by the filter paper, and it is wiped after every 30 seconds, and until the bleeding completely stops. When the bleeding completely stops, as soon as the stopwatch is also stopped, then the time is noted for the bleeding. The next method is the IV method. So the IV procedure is slightly different from that of the Duke's method. There are specific requirements for the IV method. The all of the most of the requirements are just same as the Duke method, but there are some differences uh, like it also contains the requirements for the IV method is to sterile lancet, filter paper, but it also includes an additional thing that is the blood pressure cuff, spirit swap, and stopwatch. So these are the requirements to perform the IV method. So how the IV method is performed for to detect the bleeding time? In this, first of all, the cuff, the blood pressure cuff is applied on the upper arm so that it the pressure is provided uh, to for the accumulation of the blood. Then the three, two to three pricks are made on the flexor surface of the forearm so that the distance between each prick must be uh, 10 to 15 centimeter. And the precaution must be taken that it, mu it must not prick the veins, that the veins must not be punctured. Then after every 30 seconds, these bloods are wiped with the filter paper. As soon as the bleeding starts, the stopwatch is also started. Then after 30 seconds or 50 seconds, these blood drops uh, edges are wiped with the help of the filter paper. So these are wiped by the filter paper until the blood completely stops. As soon as the blood does not appear on the filter paper and when the blood, uh, the bleeding stops completely, the stopwatch is also stopped and the time is noted. That time will be the bleeding time for that person. So why you have to note that bleeding time for that person? Because the normal results, the normal values for the bleeding time ranges from two to five minutes. So these two to five minutes are the normal range for the bleeding time. So if the time for the bleeding exceeds from the normal range, from the normal results, so it will it will be the indication for certain pathologies. So these include 
the abnormal results might also come in certain conditions, certain pathologies that will be the indication of certain diseases that include thrombocytopenia, that in thrombocytopenia, there is the reduced or low level of platelets. So that will be lead to the increased bleeding of that person. So it, there will be increased value or increased minutes or time for the bleeding time. The other abnormal condition is the hemophilia. Hemophilia is a clotting disorder that it lacks the clotting, certain clotting factors that it will not be able to cause the clotting of the blood and that's how the bleeding time will exceed. The other is the von willi brand disease. Von willi brand disease in which the, fact, the factor, von willi brand factor will be deficient that is involved in the clotting. So in this disease, the clotting, uh, the bleeding time will also be increased. So what precautions must be made while performing this test, bleeding time test, that there are certain drugs that gives the false positive results, that there are certain drugs, if they are taken before the test, there will be increased bleeding, bleeding time and that will lead to the false results. So the there are certain drugs. So what are these drugs? They are most specifically aspirin, non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs and antihistamines. So the patient must report to the physician about the intake of these drugs to avoid the false positive results.